Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Well, we started off mostly cloudy across the Susquehanna Valley, but looks like more sunshine trying to reach through in our eastern counties. One of those places here in Lancaster where we're taking a live look right now. Just a couple of clouds here in the Red Rose City, and uh, the temperatures are responding to that. In fact, we're up to around 73 currently in Lancaster. That's up from about 69 degrees just about a couple hours ago. So we are seeing that jump there with the sunshine. The dew points, though, holding steady into the upper 50s, but we will start to see those dew points climbing through the rest of today as we actually do have a cold front on the way in. That'll be bringing that humidity and the more tr muggy tropical feeling air back into the region starting tomorrow. But uh, look, at least looking at radar right now, things are fairly quiet. It's on the satellite that you can see in our eastern counties. Those clouds are breaking up. We do have some dry air working in from the southeast, but some of that air is actually going up and over some of the high terrain to our west and our western counties, and that's why we have the thicker clouds out here in the western half of the valley. And as you can see, those temperatures into the uh, low to mid 70s to the to the uh, to the east, and then farther to the west, we're sitting in. The upper 60s and low 70s. So a little cooler that way. Uh, but as we head throughout the rest of today, we will start to see a little bit of clearing taking place. That's because we are expecting this cold front to continue this way, moving our winds more out of the south, southeasterly, which will help to uh, break up some of those clouds. But it's that front that may actually trigger some stronger storms for us heading into tomorrow afternoon. More on that here in a second. But through the rest of today in the News 8 Storm Team forecast, we have Cornwall, Lebanon County here in the background. Just expect to see those skies turning partly sunny. We're seeing that now in Lancaster. And for the western half of the valley, we'll start to see those clouds breaking up here over the next few hours. And it will start to turn warmer than the past couple of days, those highs near 80 degrees for us. Into tonight, we drop down into the middle 60s, still hanging on to a few clouds. We'll call it partly cloudy. Same story for tomorrow, most of the day. But as that front approaches, we do expect to see scattered thunderstorms developing during the afternoon, some of which could be strong. It just depends on how much sunshine we do break out into. And as of right now, that is a little bit uncertain. Otherwise, warm and humid in those Highs climbing between 82 and 86 degrees, and uh, definitely we'll be feeling the humidity heading into tomorrow afternoon. But for this evening, should be a pretty nice one for some baseball. The Lancaster Barnstormers at home at 7 o'clock, and the York Revolution at home at 6:30. Both uh, those games should be partly cloudy and turning sticky through the game in those first pitch temps, generally sitting around the mid 70s and falling into the upper 60s. So right now things are quiet, with the exception of in the Ohio Valley where we do have that strong front, but it's on the back side of that front. There's a lot of cold air surging in. In fact, look at this. This is snow falling in parts of Montana and into Canada. In fact, some of those snow accumulations have been pretty impressive, especially up in Canada. Over a foot of snow has already fallen there. But of course, that's where we have the coldest temperatures behind this front. 43 in Helena, Montana, right now. And you can see where that front is. It's slicing right through the middle of the country, the mild, muggy air to the east of that, the cool, dry air to the northwest. We will not be seeing quite that cold of air into the valley, but still, a cool down is expected into the next couple of days. So here's this front as it approaches. We'll watch those showers stream in. There'll be a mist for the most part until we head into tomorrow afternoon, and that's when we're expecting to see some of these storms firing up ahead of that front. Once the front clears, though, heading into Friday, we do expect to see clearing skies and drier conditions working their way into the region. More sunshine and generally staying cool, but again, there's that uh, at least the chance for severe weather from the Storm Prediction Center. That is a slight risk. Looks like the primary threat will be some gusty winds if those storms can organize. So we'll have to continue to watch that again for tomorrow afternoon. But like I said, we do see that cool down into Friday, 74 for the high there, and then it gets even cooler yet. Heading into the weekend, 70 for the high with the chance of a few showers there to start off our weekend. Cooler and drier uh, as we head into our Sunday, Mo moderating a bit with those temps, but staying well below average. Through the rest of the week, even in going into next week. So, a little bit of a shot of fall here as yeah, we go I was, into I was later that. this week, for sure. <laughs> Definitely feel like Breaking it. Breaking out the jackets, maybe. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Matt. Mm -hmm.